calling out names came through me. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that story. I started calling out names. Though. What happened? Okay, so <clears throat> calling out names was produced by Fred Reck. And at the time, I was working on a West Side Radio album. And so Corrupt used to be at Fred Reck's house. And at the time, I lived maybe like three minutes from Fred's house. So I would pop up on him all the time. And so Corrupt used to be over there uh, with Hob, and then he'd be over there with um, Little Draws, uh, um, Big U's little brother. Um, and then we'd just be out there, over there, right? So one day we was there, and I'm like, Corrupt, man, I need a song for my album. Man, please, man, Fred, come on, man. And so I got them to start on this record. I had this weed, we were smoking, it's during the day. And so they Fred started to work on the beat, and then Corrupt says, man, uh, I just want to get something off my chest. You cool with that? You cool? I'm like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Just, I just, man, just for something you rapping on the motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if it's 16 bars, man. It just, <laughs> you know, I just need something for my album, man. Right, right, right. Corrupt, because we're friends, you know what I mean? It's my guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so, so they, as he's working on the beat, Corrupt is writing it, cool. Now, I got to be on the radio at 6 o'clock. So I leave, and man, I remember that night, I was so high when I got to the radio station. And I remember like, oh my God, I am so fucking high. But I've always had a high tolerance, luckily, mm-hmm. you know? And I get on the air, and they call me about seven. When you say they, who's that? Fred Reck and Corrupt. Gotcha. Fred Reck called me. Okay. And at the time of the radio, I used to always have the thing recording. I always had the real, I mean, the Box Pro. Box Pro, yeah. I always had it recording. That's one thing that I always did, because whatever, I just recorded everything in there. And so it was just recording when I took the call. You know, Hotline, uh, Batline, Batman speaking, I used to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Batline, Batman speaking. So so the conversation starts, Fred's like, oh, man, Corrupt went nuts on your shit, dog. Wait till you hear this shit. And I'm like, man, play it for me. So he plays it for me, the first verse. And so he's just going. It's the first verse. And it didn't even have the scratches in it, in the hook. I went later and I did the scratches for that record. That's me scratching on that record. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I did that later. He didn't even have that in the hook. That's why he was calling me to ask me, come up with something for the hook. And then the scratch part. Because I used to help Fred with little things like that. Right, right. So that's how that happened. But now I get this whole phone call, right? We get off. So I edit the phone call down. Now I'm editing the curse words in the phone call of the song. Mm. So I edited the whole fucking song. So now I play it back on the air. And mind you, the whole LA just fucking stops because it's like you're hearing it over the phone. Wow. I'm playing it on the air as you, like me and you are. Right, right. The phone. Well, you know, right. That's what made me different in radio. Yeah. It right, was so crazy. That, I would do crazy. shit like that. So I call exactly. that moment and I let you peek in. And man, when I tell you, dog, that shit started a motherfucking storm of calls. <laughs> Just me playing at one time. And then that was the night that I knew that people were listening to me. And it was serious. Wow. I, I said, hey, man, you got a lot of power, bro. Said it and I'm calling out names. You know what? Fuck, 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 fuck,